Competitive is your boy DC coming back with another bullseye of a tutorial here today on the channel. I want to show you how to get your vocals to sound smooth and mainstream and professional right from home. Okay, so if you guys do like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Suggest more video ideas down below. And also, if you want to support the channel, check the links. All right, so let's get to it right now. So great when a homie change, screaming, let's go gang, cause baby you the crew crew. We straight, run a check up, ace, get clean. Ay, baby you the crew crew. Homie, yeah, go ahead, get it gang. Rock with him, everything simple, babe, over here. And I ain't got a trick, cause baby you the crew crew. Baby you the crew. Shotty ain't just anybody, if you ain't in the loop. If you ain't really new, then I'ma tell you what it do. We'll play it cool. Walking with the juice and blow the ceiling off the roof. All right, so really, really dope um, R&B song that we have right here from our artist, uh, Ron Jr., okay? Really dope, okay? So the most important thing right here today is I wanted to think a little bit about the history. You feel me? Like back in them days when them boys was recording, if you listen to a lot of old records, they don't have that problem where there's like harshness and stuff like that. So that's coming down to a couple of things, like, for example, a microphone technique. You know how, like, when you got the microphone right here in front of you, like, you know, certain words, like, they, they would, like, meticulously already know their lyrics. Like, if I'm about to say s or stupid into the microphone, a lot of the times, you know, the artist would already know to back up. That was, like, a standard skill where every musician back in the day, whether it's Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, you feel me? You know, a lot of the great musicians and stuff like that from back in the day, Marvin Gaye, that was like the basic instructions of like when you learn how to sing and record in the studio is like how to work the microphone is what they call it. So also working the microphone is important, too, because, you know, back in the days, they ain't really had no de like that, too. You feel me? So, you know, also the engineer would be in the studio with his finger writing. You know, he would already know the lyrics ahead of time. So the, the, the person would be manually de that shit. So why is that important? Nowadays, you feel me? You got the digital. We're in the digital error type shit. Shit like that too you feel me so sometimes you know things can become a little bit harsh they can be a little bit spiky i kind of compare it to a camera if you got a brand new iphone the camera it literally shows you all the acne and the pimples and everything on your face but if you got a throwback camera like a throwback phone that was made in 2000 you take a picture and it's kind of blurry you feel me and because it's kind of blurry you don't see all the harsh details that's what i compare recording back in the day to recording now today everything is so accurate and everything's so on point that's where the harshness is really coming from so i like to um you know use this plugin right here it's called split s right and the reason why I ain't been DSing like that lately is because, you know, a lot of times I was clip gaining my stuff, like, you feel me? So if I get a vocal, you know, that kind of came in from an artist and stuff like that, what I would do is I would like, you know, I would like clip gain the vocals, you feel me? I would go in there, right? And you see me and I'm manually ducking this shit down, all the S's, the P's and the K's and, the K's and all that, that type of stuff, all right? I noticed that, you know, that stuff, you know, is was great. It was improving the mixes a lot. And because I was get, uh, zapping that, zit zapping, zit zit zapping the harshness, right, before it went into my vocal chain, I noticed that my mixes were a lot smoother. My compression was a lot smoother. Like, everything was sounding better, right? But, you know, doing something like that kind of takes up time. So I found a plugin called Split S. And then this is a really dope plugin because it's pretty much doing the deharshing for you without using a de right? It's literally bringing the volume down, only using volume to bring down the harshness. So let's look at it. So great when a homie change, screaming, let's go gang, cause baby you the crew crew. We straight, run a check up, ace, get clean. Hey, 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 baby you the crew crew. Homie, yeah, go ahead, get it gang. Rock with him, everything simple, babe, over so great when a homie change, screaming, let's go gang, cause baby you the crew crew. We straight, run a check up, ace, get clean. Ay, 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 baby you the crew crew. Homie, yeah, go ahead, get it gang. Rock with him, everything simple, babe, oh. So great when a homie change, screaming, let's go gang, cause baby you the crew crew. We straight, run a check up, ace, get clean. Especially when he says, we shay, you feel me like that? It's kind of really harsh. So maybe if you put that through something like a de -esser, sometimes if you have an overwhelming part on a de -esser, it kind of might make the de work a little bit too much and make the vocal sound gray, like it's being pushed down by something because maybe the de is working too hard. So I like to put the split S in the beginning, right, before it hits the actual vocal chain. If you got it all going to the same ox, just put it as the first plug-in, right? 
And uh, that's a very important thing to get smooth vocals is maybe using a little bit of something like tape saturation. Back in the days, them boys was recording into tubes, like tube microphone, like a Telefunken, maybe a tube preamp, like the uh, the 610. You feel me? Also, maybe the console had a little bit of tube and also the tape machine has a tube. So between tape and tube, both of those things were contributing to why vocals from back in the day sound so smooth, especially when it comes to R&B soul and stuff like that. That tape, tape has a way of softening the transients. It's softening at the high end. So it gives a less, um, you know, harsh type of sound. For a long time, the tape plugins in the, on the computer, they ain't sound good, but recently they started sounding good. So that's why, you know, that's a great way to de-harsh your shit. All right, now the last thing I want to talk about is why would you use a de over using, like, you know, clip gaining and shit? You know, me personally, I do both, right? But you need to understand what a de A de is kind of like when you go to Benihana's. You feel I me? Mean? And there's a sushi chef right there. He's chopping up the meat. So when a de is, you know, hitting this specific part, right, what it has to do is the vocal comes into the de and it cuts the vocal. You feel me? It cuts the vocal, right? You can also see it on the multiband compressor. You feel me? Like, in order for it to, you know, target that place, right, it's got to literally cut. You see, the, you see the little knife, right? You see little knife lines? It's cutting up the vocal to isolate that part and then it's putting it back together quote unquote phase you feel me like all these bands have a phase coherence and phase crossovers and shit so sometimes when you're using something like a waves ds right when you're using the waves ds bro sometimes that shit can kind of be like too overwhelming right if it does three to six db because it's like you can see the the it's like cutting a piece of fish and then putting it back together you can not necessarily see the lines but you can hear the lines with your ear like the shit just don't sound incomplete it kind of sounds incomplete and that usually comes when you dsing too much my nigga so that's why i always recommend to use a mastering grade deesser you could get the weiss deesser it's on sale or you can use the uad precision deesser you feel me maybe use like the uad precision deesser these are like high fidelity deessers that are made like to put on your master so you know you just putting putting the shit on the vocal just know it's a high quality deesser compared to the waves deesser i still use the waves deesser but i just know that yo it has a certain sound to it and if i hit it really hard it's gonna it's gonna give a certain sound which sometimes can sound really good but let's look at how we use the weiss deesser on this mix though Ay, 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 baby, you the crew, crew Hold me up, go ahead, get it, gang Rock with him, everything simple, babe Over here, and I ain't got a trip cause Baby, you the crew, crew, baby, you the crew Shawty ain't just anybody, if you ain't in the loop If you ain't really new, then I'ma tell you what to do We'll play it cool, walking with the juice And blow the ceiling off the roof Ride like a day one dude, ay Slide when I say come through, wait Ball like the Lakers too, day and and I feel like I'm able to make my mixes brighter when I do this type of, um, you know, band type of de rather than the actual high end, right? So when you do this type of shape, it's cool, but you got to understand, maybe the only the harshness is maybe like in the, the 5, 6K region. You feel me? Everybody's voice is different. So let's say maybe the harshness is only in this part right here. But then you do, because you're doing like this type of, you know, you see the shape, bro. I know you see the shape where it's, you know, de everything above from that frequency, sometimes all that pretty high end in the 13K, the 14K, you could be losing that shit. You feel me? Like, you know, maybe potentially down the line, all your boosting EQ is not getting the opportunity to drop the sugar into the mocha latte frappe and sweeten that part because your DSer has already, you know, put the lid on the Corvette. You feel me? Type shit like that. So I prefer to use a combination of the split S, right? Which is doing like my wide band. You feel me type of thing? And then my DSer will do will let me go in there and isolate the harshness. Now I'm gonna turn off the split S and pay attention to how much harder the DSer gotta work, I think. So great when a homie change screaming, let's go gang. Cause baby you the crew crew. We straight run a check up ace, get clean. Hey, 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 baby you the crew crew. Homie up, go ahead, get it gang. Rock with him, everything simple, babe. Over here. So great when a home. So great when a homie change screaming, let's go gang Cause baby you the crew crew We straight run a check up ace, get clean Ay, baby you the crew crew Homie up, go ahead get it gang Rock with him, everything simple babe, over here 
And I ain't got a trick cause Baby, you the pro pro baby. So like kind of without the um the ester before I was averaging around like four to six, you know, five here, stuff like that. Uh, but when we put the split S on before, pay attention to how now my de is working less and my vocals sound smoother. So I still get to maintain that brightness, which is helping my vocals be brighter. If your de is working too hard, it's going to make your vocals sound darker, my nigga. You feel me? So last thing I want to talk about too, though, is on this de it has a range. So the range mean, motherfucker, you can't go more past than the number I put it to. Like if I wanted to put it just on maximum like two, it ain't gonna go more than two. No great when a homie you the crew. Shotty ain't just anybody if you ain't in the loop. If you ain't really new, then I'ma tell you what to do. We'll play it cool. Walking with the juice and blow the ceiling off the roof. Ride like a day one dude. You know how sometimes when you got a DS, right? And then you feel like it's ducking, like the DS is just ducking the shit and making it too loud. That's where that range comes in handy like crazy bro that range really fucking comes in handy because it's like you setting the the maximum limit to how the ds will duck the vocal type shit like that so this is pretty much the end of the video here today bro i wanted to give the real game on how to get some crazy ass mainstream bright vocals with no harshness so we showed you the split s we showed you the technique of manually clip gaining this shit down. We showed you how the split S helps the DS or how to DS less. And I also explained why songs from back in the day sound smoother than nowadays and how, you know, we want to keep the DS into a minimal. You feel me? Now there's new ways where we could keep the DS into a minimal so we could get our shit to sound super, super bright, um, you know, super, super mainstream and feeling good and solid in the mix. All right. So I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If y'all learned something, you know, down below, click the links to support the channel. Appreciate y'all now, YouTube gang. Peace.